are doing the Amazing Spider-Man 2 spoiler review. So mega spoilers here because there were some pretty big spoilers in this pretty good movie. So let's get into this and just click away right here, right now. This is your opportunity to click away. Right here, there should be an annotation, and there's going to be a link, and that'll be the non-spoiler review. This is the spoiler review. Mega spoilers and everything. Oh, I can handle this. No, you can't. These are spoilers beyond spoilers. Some pretty big spoilers. So let's get into this. Boom, 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 do, 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 boom, 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 Gwen Stacy dies. Yes, Gwen Stacy dies, and I'm happy she dies. Why am I happy she dies? Annotation up here should give you a link to another video I made on the Movie Bugle channel. Don't subscribe to the Movie Bugle channel, because that's my normal thing, and you're going to get spammed with, like, oh, the Movie Bugle like this video, oh, the Movie Bugle. You go subscribe to this channel. Now you're gonna get really, really, really spammed about that stuff. So just watch that video, and it's a theory about Gwen Stacy dying, and I got that right. My theory was correct. Everything about it was correct, and that's why I'm happy. Now there are a few things I was disappointed about this film that I couldn't say in normal spoiler, the without spoiler review because they're spoilers. One which Harry Osborn is green, uh, green, blah, 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 green goblin. You know how many people are like green in the universes of superheroes? Like Martian Manhunter, Green Arrow, Green Lantern. It's like all these guys. It's sorry. Green Goblin is uh, Harry Osborn. Kind of disappointed. I don't know. I just was. It was Harry Osborn. I was disappointed that it was Harry Osborn. I wanted it to be Norman Osborn. But okay, fine, Harry Osborn. But what I did like about it was it, it introduced a Green Goblin without the helmet. And then introduced like an actual green goblin who's actually genetically green goblin. And that was pretty cool to see like this that's a real green goblin. Yeah, that's the green goblin I wanted to see because that's green goblin and that's awesome and stuff. So yeah, that, that was pretty sweet. But seriously, Gwen Stacy dies. I mean, that was. Everyone was like all sad and I was like, bam, yeah, my, my theory was correct. I was like sad, but I wasn't because that was my theory was correct and stuff. That was pretty sweet. It was pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So that's what I really thought about this film. This film is awesome, by the way. This film is awesome if you look at the fight scenes. This film is not awesome. Well, no, this film is kind of. I explained this. There are elements of it that you don't like, and there are elements that you do like. So, like, let's just have a talk right here. Let's have it in the chat. So let let let's let's talk about in the comments below who do you like more, um, Norman Osborn or Harry Osborn? That was kind of obvious, Norman Osborn. But like, what type of green, what type of Green Goblin do you like more? One with a helmet or one without a helmet? It's like more genetic as opposed to more exoskeleton. So comment below. Let me know what type of Green Goblin you like more. One that's more exoskeleton, or one that's more genetically powered like the one that was showed here. But the one that was showed here was kind of a hybrid, because he did have that metal exoskeleton type thing. But not really, so I don't really know. But yeah, so what did you think about um the Green Goblin stuff? And also um, comment if you think that Green... A lot of stuff about Green Goblin. Because they shoehorned him in at the end, and he was only like this little part, like very small, yet very big, because... He half kills Gwen Stacy yet. So, like, it was very. He had a big part, but he had a small part both at the same time. Now, also comment below, uh, what, what do you. What, what version of Amazing Spider Man 2 would you like more? A popcorn movie version or an in depth movie version? Because Amazing Spider Man 2 tried to be both, which is possible, but they did not succeed in that, which is why I gave it, um, which is why I didn't give it like an 8 out of 10. Which is what I would give it if it balanced it out a little more. Well, it, it balanced it out too much, though. And that's what I wish they did with this film. So comment below all of those things. Don't forget to leave a like. And, of course, subscribe. Yeah.